you can also create multiple cameras and edit between them. So, you know, you can have as many cameras in your project as you want. Let's go ahead and open our timeline here. And you see, here's my camera. It appears in the timeline just like any other object. And that camera can have duration. So the camera can last for a certain amount of time. And then you can essentially cut to another camera. So let's go ahead and add another camera. I showed you earlier, you can click on this button here to add a camera. You can also go to the object new camera command and just, or press option command C. And that will add a new camera. And then you see here's my second camera. There's our first one and here's our second one. Select the camera and I'm actually just going to select this red box over here and say frame, uh, fit objects into view. And actually, we want to frame it so it's pointing at it straight on. There we go. So now we've got our second camera pointing at the Mac Pro Video Rocks 2. And then I'm going to adjust the timing in the timeline here. So now we've got the 3D Rocks camera happening. And then it was going to cut to the Mac Pro Video Rocks. So you can essentially have these multiple cameras that can show different things going on in your project at the same time. And then you could, of course, cut back and forth between them. If we wanted to, we could have this. We could take this object here and split it just like any other object. Just say split. And it's going to break that into two cameras. And now we're going to cut back and forth. So we cut from the 3D Rocks to the Mac Pro Video back to the 3D rocks and so forth. And of course, I'm working with a very simple example here so that we're, you know, I'm just trying to keep it so that we're only talking about one thing at a time. But of course, all these elements could be animated and there's all sorts of fun other 3D things you could be doing here. And uh, you could be moving the cameras at the same time. You could have one camera crossing another camera and then cut in the middle of that. You can really do any sort of three-dimensional animation and scenes that you could ever want uh, using multiple cameras here by animating them here in the timeline. Whatever camera is on top is going to obscure what's beneath it. So because this camera is on top, if I cut, if I put this over here, we're going to cut to that camera, cut back to the thing underneath it, and so forth. 